Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Jeff Bailey. Welcome once again to the channel. Um, it's been an embarrassing amount of time since we've had some great Eastern cutleries, so we've got quite a few uh, today. Probably going to do one video at a time to give myself some, some room on the editing. Uh, I've also got my very first newly purchased case knife uh, that we'll be doing, um, so let's get right to it. Alright guys, let's get started. I wanted to take a look at this one uh, for a while since I've had it. Um, this is the uh, jigged Brazilian cherry wood, uh, the 54. 54s were out a little while ago, and I just, man, you know, life happens. I've not been able to get around to it. But it sat on my deck, I, or on my uh, desk, and I've not even got it open. So let's let's get into it and figure it out. All right. I don't know if there are buttons for those or not, but we can always hope. Let's see what we've got here. That is cool. This is the first one of these um, beaver tooth, beaver tail, beaver tooth, beaver tail traditional sportsman knives. You know, they've done a, a few of these, but I have never had one before, so that shield and all that is new for me. Um, the, the, the actual wood, that uh, jigged Brazilian cherry, that's new. That is, and that is a pretty looking wood. I've got myself actually trying to crane around the camera to look at it because <laughs> right now I'm looking at it through the camera. That beautiful color to it. And honestly, I was thinking I wouldn't like the jigging. Um, just because, you know, it's harder to see the, the wood grain. Um, you know, if it was polished smooth, you can catch that wood grain a lot more. It's interesting. I wonder if this is just mine or all of them. Look how faint this jigging is on the top here. Catch that in the light. And then on this side, it's much more uniform. I mean, the mosquitoes out here are not doing me any favors. You'd think I was living in a, a bog or something like that. It's ridiculous. But I really do like that grain. And that color on that wood. Shield is really cool. Shield sits just perfectly flush down there. Really nice. All right, let's take a look at the blades. So we got a big primary clip there. Actually, I don't know. How do you determine which one's primary? I mean, this one is uh, the one closest to the um, to the front of the knife. So maybe that's that's one way to do it, but this is a jackknife, two, two large blades on the on the, the same end. Get a little bit of a better look here at the beaver tail uh, etching there. To the cutlery, made in USA, Great Eastern Cutlery, Titusville, Pennsylvania. And that is a that's a fair size, fair size knife uh, there. Um, it's kind of wide. There's some heft to it, but you know, it's it's no sunfish or anything like that. Um, I had a 54. It was a 53 uh, Cuban before Ram's Horn, um, but I, don't, I like this better. I like the character of that wood, especially that shield. Let's check out the other blade. Half stop there. I thought that was going to close so much stronger. I mean, it didn't close gently, but it it was nice and gentle. Uh, opening it was a little a little tight. It could be just because it's been sitting. Look at that big, perfect spear. Almost reminds you of that big spear on the Northwoods Presidential, maybe. It's got that long kind of swedge at the top there. Reflecting light differently. These are satin blades here. Very nice looking. Clean lines. Nail nick just right at the bottom of the swedge there. Very nice. This is another uh, Titusville Ironworks. And there's a model number. 541217. Two springs on this knife. Two springs, two blades. Let's see here. If I can get both of them out. Give you an idea. They're roughly the same length. Um, just kind of get that different profile. That that uh, that clip is going to give you that much more of that diving belly and the uh, the uh, spear knife, spear blade is going to give you that much more of a, 
not quite flat, because you do end up with belly towards the end here, but flatter profile. You see those start out just dead even, and then that, that clip just dives down, and that real aggressive uh, grind down to a little bit of a finer point. Um, channels inside, looks all, now, all nice and clean. Uh, brass liners. Actually closes really nice. I like that. I don't want them to be overly snappy. Feels better already. Good centering overall. Really nice knife. Try to keep my videos a little bit shorter here, so we're just gonna keep on rolling here. If you have any questions or, or comments about anything I didn't cover, let me know so I can make sure that I don't miss it in the next video. But once again, this is, for your reference, the Great Eastern Cutlery Titty Ute um, Beaver Tail 54 Big Jack Jigged Brazilian Cherry Wood 2017 version. Very nice. Uh, next time we'll take a look at the uh, we'll take a look at 48 in Bloodwood. So stay tuned and please give me that like and subscribe. It's very helpful. I'm just dying to get to that 500 subscriber mark and we're so close. We've been so close for a while. Maybe some new Great Eastern videos are the that'll give us the push we need. So if you liked it, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment. All are helpful. And we'll catch you next time.